Darcy, I have some bad news. They kicked us out of the studio. They kicked us out of the studio. So we're taking this show on the road. Really? Dorsey, let's do this. Is Margaret really gonna let us into VH1? Yeah, we're just gonna go. What's not to like? We show up. It's our blog hit for today. I mean, they kicked us out of the studio. No one's gonna notice if we leave. Come on. <laughs> it's perfect. You're a fan, I'm a fan. She has a new VH1 show. It starts on August 21st. We just show up. We say we're from Air America. The only thing, Dorsey, you cannot be weird, okay? Because that will tip her off. If you're weird, you know. I feel like I have something in my nose. I feel like I have something in my nose. Dorsey, you ready? Let's go see Margaret Cho. Now, I know you're a fan, but don't be weird. She's a comedian, but there are limits. Let's go. Margaret shows in here. No, no, no. I like your shoes, too. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a bamolare, and they were like, they look like an Oxford. Mm -hmm. But they were like wavy cork, mm -hmm. or like wavy rubber, well, rubber um, cork, and then um, they would be sort of like maybe this color, this trim color. Mm -hmm. they, they were my favorite shoes from the 70s, and they can't find them. The company's not around anymore. Darcy, I feel like we need her mic'd. Margaret Cho, it's ah. so cool to meet you in person. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So you have a new VH1 show. I have a new VH1 show, it's called The Cho Show, and it starts on VH1, it starts on um, August 21st at 11 o'clock, and it's um, really great, Thursdays at 11, so great, I love it, it's very funny, it stars myself and my family and my assistant, who's a little person, and my gays, and it's, it's really great. So your parents, have been the, kind of the brunt of a lot of your humor. Yes. What's it like for them to be on camera? She's like, I don't like tattoo this. T I don't like. I don't like this. Meanwhile, she has her eyebrows tattooed, her eyeliner, her blush, her lipstick. Well, it was great because finally it's payback time, and so they make fun of me all the time, which is really great because they're actually they're so funny. Like my parents are really hilarious, and I I always forget that. Um, they're so super funny. So, I mean, I have the kind of parents that like my friends when I was a kid would want to go out with them and hang out with them without me. So, I, I mean, when I was a teenager, my parents would be totally invited to things that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> it was really funny. So, it's really great to see them really shine. How has the American audience changed since you first? got into the business? Um, I think that for the most part audiences have become far more sophisticated and far more accepting and far more interested in multiculturalism, far more interested in a, a seeing a more diverse range of stories and opinions and voices, hearing different voices and I feel like this ideal uh, sort of, of multiculturalism has really kind of like pushed and opened up television and, and when you see a lot of reality television which includes a lot of people of color it's really exciting. I feel like when we as people of color are allowed to see ourselves, images of ourselves, we realize that we exist. So it's a beautiful thing and an important thing and that goes beyond just the importance of a television show or the importance of a career or a celebrity. It's really about helping people feel like they are real, you know? And um, it's one of the reasons why I'm also really into Barack Obama because I feel like he really um, includes us in this discussion like he's f product of an immigrant family. He's really from our world and so that's why I love him so much. As a comedian you deal with kind of the unconscious stuff, the identity, politics, gender, um, sexuality, family. How, how as a comedian, how do you, what's your process? Well th I think my process is like pretty simple. It's just kind of like w what would I say to friends? Like what would like the way that I would do a joke like okay like this is a good example of joke writing kind of stuff like that whole thing went down about that Chinese girl 
you know, the two little Chinese girls, the one that was lip syncing? And they had the girl lip sync because they thought the original singer wasn't pretty enough. And that just hurts my heart so much. It's like, what? And then I'm like, I didn't know China had any little girls left. I thought they gave them all away to all the gays. I'm a, I, want, I want those two. So that's my joke. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, what would I say to a friend about the situation? And then my process of writing the joke is there. So that, that's what I do. Um, what else did I ask? Where'd you get those shoes? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, did you want to ask about the music? Oh, yes. This could be embarrassing, Dorsey. Dorsey um, is a huge fan of yours. He's actually been a little grumpy this morning because he didn't think we would do a very good job with this interview. But he wanted <laughs> to know um, your favorite music. Who are you listening to? My musical taste kind of really is all over the place. Like, I. Um, I'm a belly dancer, so I'm really into world music and like stuff, you know, all stuff from the Middle East and Egyptian music and very much into uh, also Indian music and Bollywood music. And then um, I'm also, uh, I, 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 I like, you know, very, very like mainstream pop stuff like Katy Perry and then, um, but I've been trying to join this band, The Broken Social Scene, which is this incredible like indie rock band from Canada. And, I, and Kevin Drew said that I could join we haven't really ha had it happen yet. I'm just going to try to, like, I want to join this band so bad. I think I'll just kind of walk backwards with a triangle on stage, and they'll just, they'll just have to, you know, accept the fact that I'm in the band. Because I, I, like, I like all kinds of music, and um, I'm a musician myself and a singer. So... Um, what do you play? I, uh, nothing. But, <laughs> but I, I, I see. <laughs> that makes me a musician, kind of. Um, but uh, I, I, feel, I, I feel like you know, music is really integral to what I do because um, comedy is about the rhythm. And so music to me is very, you know, I, I feel like in a lot of ways I am a composer too. To be continued. There we go. All right, that was great, thank, thank you. you. I don't see the red light. You can't see it. <laughs> okay. Well, Dorsey, nice job. That's your blog hit. This is Logan Pollard. See you online.